Hi, and welcome to another episode of Live Arts with Mr. John. Uh, today for our art project, we're going to be doing line drawings, and then we're going to be coloring them in uh, using uh, collage uh, to give it texture and uh, just give it some more interesting choices of color. Um, so here's what you will need for it. Uh, so the first thing you're going to need is some um, sketchbook paper, or honestly any kind of paper will do. Uh, you will need a drawing utensil. I have a just a pen here that I like to use. You can use pencil, whatever you want. Um, and you're gonna use that to make the line drawing. Uh, after that, you're going to need um, maybe some spare magazines or newspaper. Um, you're gonna need scissors uh, to cut out uh, certain shapes. And you're gonna need some kind of a, a glue to paste it onto the paper. So for my example, um, I wanted to do something like a, a fox in a suit. So right here, you can see I have just a, a really quick line drawing of my design here. So we got a little fox head. We got kind of like this cool little suit, a um, little napkin coming out, a little monocle. And then we just got a, a really simple background with a, what I'm going to assume is going to be a blue sky and some clouds. So when you're doing this, um, you can make this as complicated or as simple as you want to. So things to bear in mind, these bigger shapes like the clouds or even these parts of the suit or maybe even the sky behind are going to be a lot easier to fill in. Uh, however, like the smaller details like the eyes, uh, the buttons, uh, even maybe like the strap of the monocle, um, the tinier it gets, those details are going to be harder to uh, cut for and to build in. Uh, but again, the end results will look really cool. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, I'm going to, which ironically has a fox on the front, I'm going to start cutting out um, some pictures in here, uh, and we'll move on from there. All right, so uh, I've gone through the magazine a little bit, um, taking into consideration this, and all I was doing, I was trying to figure out things that had interesting colors or maybe even patterns. Um, I mean, to be kind of unoriginal about this, like I said, there was the fox, so there was a lot of fur patterns that I can probably use for the fox itself. Uh, maybe even trying to cut really carefully to get the eyes and stuff out of this. Uh, so I might be able to work with that. Um, for the clouds, um, I actually did find clouds, but I also found like these cool pictures of ocean waves um, that kind of had like a, a cloud-like appearance to it as well. So I might um, try and like just place it down first to see if that looks better in comparison. Um, I do have a, it's somewhere off screen here, but I do have a picture of blue sky, uh, but I also kind of found this uh, misty sky uh, that might look good as well behind the fox. Uh, so I have that. Um, other things I was considering as far as the outfit um, were things that had uh, some texture. So I found a, a picture of kind of a, a chicken's foot and you could see how it kind of looks uh, scaly and wrinkly. Um, I thought the texture of it would be very interesting for maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe even the, the napkin coming out or even maybe just some of the details on the jacket itself. Um, there was also this uh, cool picture of a leather pouch I thought I can incorporate. Um, this was just a picture of snow uh, on a black sky, but I thought maybe I can use that for something. Uh, this was uh, industrial farming uh, areas. And I really liked the, the patterning that it had, so I thought maybe I can use that even for the, the main part of the suit. Um, this is some kind of a aquatic creature. Uh, again, I thought it just has some very interesting patterning. Um, this was a bunch of uh, red flags that were being uh, held together to create one big large red flag. So I thought this might be cool for a certain pattern. Um, another suit idea I had too was maybe even using this so it kind of looked like a, a tree like in a very snowy background uh, to give it some interesting uh, perspective. One thing you do want to watch out for, so I'm in a little bit of danger here if I use uh, a lot of these uh, lighter colored things because the picture is going to get lost. Um, when you're experimenting with this, you do want to use a, a little more variety in colors, uh, which I don't think I have here. So I think I'm going to go through the magazine just a, a little bit more. Uh, just to make sure that uh, when I start gluing stuff down, things actually stand out uh, from each other. Uh, so you'll be able to tell what this image is. If I have a whole bunch of kind of like grayish white imagery glued onto this, it's just going to look like a mixed mesh of whites and grays. So I want to make sure that parts of this picture actually stand out when I'm done. 
All right, so I have my drawing here. Um, rather than just pasting things directly to it first, I decided to cut out the shapes that I needed and kind of uh, mesh them together. Um, so clearly they're imperfect right now, um, easily slid around, but at least it's given me an idea of uh, how I want to arrange things on there when I do it. Um, for the sky, I ended up doing blue just so there was some different colors in there. Uh, I even tried to repeat that pattern in the, the buttons that I had here. Uh, but you can see I, I kind of have all my pieces together. Um, I still have all the scraps that I was using, so if I do decide to make any changes, um, I could do that uh, fairly easily. Um, so I would recommend before gluing anything down, um, try to cut out the shapes themselves first. And then um, you'll have a better idea of how you want to arrange things before you start doing your finished product. Uh, another thing to remember, um, I did try cutting out uh, the shapes as, to the best of my abilities as solid shapes. Um, you could just do tiny little pieces and put them in a little bit at a time to give it more of a, a textured, more of a collage look to it. Um, so there's a couple different ways to approach actually coloring in your line drawing. Um, but again, I'm going with solid shapes. You could use little chunks of colors uh, to fill these in as well. Um, it's entirely up to you. All right. And as you can see, this is the, the finished collage. Um, so that's using all the textures and stuff. Uh, I'm pretty happy about this as a first attempt. Uh, I might want to try this. Um, a couple of things to keep in mind when you're doing um, this kind of collage and you're trying to fill in like a line drawing it's probably better to work bigger. So I'm only using a, a very small notebook for this. Uh, if you had a bigger sheet of paper and actually we're trying to cover a bigger surface, uh, it would be easier. Um, I did scrap some ideas. I think the napkin, I wasn't able to get anything that could compete with the patterning that I chose for the suit. So I didn't go with that. Um, but other than that, um, it's pretty true to the original drawing. So yeah, this is all you need to do is just a simple line drawing and then again you can just fill in uh, all the shapes that you made with different color swatches that you found from just uh, different magazine scraps so i hope you had fun with this um, i hope you do get a chance to try it and i hope you tune in next time until then take care